It's a lot of damage. And you realize it only has one point into Avalanche Toss. A bit too much regen has come in already, so Ursa just gets back to farming in the lane. Yeah, he, he needed this ring quite a lot. Oh, Maledict. Oh no, they're gonna go for the Maledict combo, but they didn't get it before the full Avalanche Toss came out, but it might still be enough to pop him. But <laughs> Fete finds the first blood before going down. Under any other condition, Lizard, this would be a horrible loss for the Ursa. But at the yeah, game... raindrop on Sadman, so... Raindrop, Fairy Fire, maybe you're not killing him. They're diving real hard bottom, though. They really want to find this kill. Unfortunately, they will find maybe a little bit more than what they're looking for. They the TP the is coming in from the Rubik. They missed the Maledict. Thunder God's Wrath does come out. There's enough mana now. Their stolen telekinesis, or the normal telekinesis, rather, enables them to bring down the Tiny. And now Gangster might have gone too far. Tanking some impetus shots. Fete jumps forward at the Earth Shock, earns himself a double kill. He's gonna have a now tether. Jube is in danger. Yeah. He's gonna have a tether to the range creep, so that should keep him uh, yeah. still keeping up in terms of their overall net worth. And they're not getting run over. They're being outplayed, sure, but they still have all their towers. They still have map control. They still get to be farming. Uh, they should lose Gangster's life down bottom here, as we do witness a quick three hero gank. They're looking for the Wish Doctor and they will be able to find him. Oh no, B got TP'd in, but he might have TP'd into his death. Should end up dead as well. Mid lane as well. This time it's Doors turn to get a double kill in mid. They were trying to make a move as Sadman did pop the ghost, but yet again, Tilted Boy is able Just door. Just door. <laughs> it's okay. It's not my favorite in the world. It's this eye. Uh, top, Scourge McDuck finding that. One of the reasons Bristleback isn't always the best is some, the individual chase down can be difficult against heroes like Ursa. But against Rubik, not that much of a Ursa problem. Ursa will jump him, I he feel like. He just run him down, and Ursa just goes right back in. He's getting some reinforcements coming in. Volotka, do they have the magic damage for this one? And it seems like they're looking for it. Ferte, though, is falling further and further low. Sad man, gonna look for him beyond the trees. Exorcism Ghost that gets popped as well. Scourge McDuck is still alive. They just dive underneath the tier 2 tower, find two kills, and casually leave the area. Yeah. But it does cost them ghosts. So it might Strong. not... You should, like, if you need a carry to play, I'd say Bristleback is probably one of the better ones. The, the lower your MMR is, the easier it is to win with this guy. <laughs> uh, good old Bristleback. Find the Heaven's Halberd for this Yube. game. He knows his only threat is Zeus. Yube does get popped. They have enough tools. That must feel very satisfying for Ferte to do. And they also have found door on the other side. Well, the door's gonna close very soon as he just gets brought down by this Witch Doctor and the magic damage of Death Prophet. Will they fight me? They, they wanna fight me. They are. They're gonna jump with Ferte going on to Italiano Gangster while they know there's no IO combo and they steal the Death Ward. It does get silenced up by Sadman, but the Primal Roar connects this onto him as he's trying to escape. Yeah. As with three heroes dead, IO just having respawned, the path to Roshan is open. And they will take it very quickly because this is Beastmaster, this is Ursa, and this is a creep block coming in from the Helm of the Overlord as well. But Scourge McDuck is coming in. He wants to stop this. Lizard, is he this tanky? Can He's he go in all tanky. by himself? Oh my god. Just lift him. Just lift him away. Just lift they him lift away. Him. Yeah. They try to get him away, but uh, he might have now gotten himself a little bit too close here. Stolen Avalanche sets up a kill onto this. Oh no, He's tiny, turning. Tiny dies. Scourge McDuck was turning around, but even without that, he gets hit by a long range impetus and one more Fury Swipe. He goes down. Jube, he just respawned. He was trying to bail Scourge McDuck out of trouble. But he might have just put himself in trouble. The Avalanche will miss, but Jube will get blown up nonetheless. They get him. They get him in the end. Like, okay, wild tilted boys, wild boys. They understand what they need. They need this. I feel if they were five alive, there's no way Ursa does that. If they're together, right? They, he needs to yeah. pick you off. Look at this now. Bristol actually TPing top once again alone. His they team is coming in though to try and help him. And they might decide to make this move, but instead, Door is the one that gets left behind. Mm -hmm. They just blow up this Enchantress. Oh yeah, speaking of these support duos, did you see what Notorious is building? Yeah, he's going course, in for the course. Spirit Vessel. My yeah, man, yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, right yeah. thing. Even though he's a Rubik, he realizes this game desperately needs it. Oh, oh nice big avalanche. jump in from the Avalanche, connecting onto three heroes, but they have enough burst damage to immediately remove him from play. Unfortunately, they're fighting high ground. And this Ursa though, getting led by like a dog away from the Death Prophet. At the same time, there's going to be the Witch Doctor dropping the young Death Ward onto Rubik. Rubik will get popped, but there's going to be a turnaround, utilizing the lightning from the skies. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to deter Scourge McDuck from just chasing down the Ursa. 
They've already got him down on the top side of the fight. It's Dano gang. The free gold for the rest of the game. Well, no one is taking it, which is really weird so far. They're just keeping it, I guess, in the base, right? If they got it, they okay. got it. Yeah, it's in the base. Well, they have to smoke up Zeus. Oh no, Zeus already used the heavenly jump. He is dead for sure. They will find the full avalanche toss combo. He Notorious. tried to get himself away, but Notorious should die as well off the back of this. Two heroes gone in a flash. And uh, well, that's going to be a free tier two tower. I don't think they even think have to. As the lift will drop, tier three tower has fallen. They want to see if they can pick up the melee racks at the same time. There's another cliff if they want it. But it looks like they're just going to let the racks go. In. Jump in from the Ursa, but he gets stunned up immediately by this Bristleback Bash. He's still going on to Italiano Gangster. Will Italiano Gangster die? Yes, he will. Brought down by the Thunder Gods, drafting the damage from the Zeus. And there's going to be, though, this big avalanche toss coming in from the Rubik to try and save the fight, but it cannot save the Ursa. They do lose the Tiny's life, they can but turn. the big bad bear yeah. is dead and gone. And yeah, Scourge McDuck is still alive. They can easily... <laughs> oh, Philly Stone. I'd have Philly Stone. It's one yeah. of those, would you have $10 million right now or $500 every day for the next 10 years or something like that, you know? Oh, we see a quick jump in. They get a quick burst onto door, but with the BKB, they want to try to bring down B-God, and they will succeed in doing so. Primal Roll goes in. Double damage picked up by Scourge. Oh, he's done. big now. So Ursa needs to be careful. Fete goes into the Enrage to try and run away from this fight. He's silenced up right now, but they're putting in some damage onto this Ursa. Not enough, though, to threaten his life as the Death Ward and the Exorcism goes help to bring down the bear. Two for one. The cut wins, and they before the sustain kicks in, here comes the Eye of Ajube. To make sure that Scourge McDuck is high on the HP pool. It still hurts quite a bit with this Aghanim shot. Scourge McDuck, that half HP. Well, for, for like two seconds, they jump in with the Ursa. They really want Sadman, but he gets healed up. There's going to be the Bash coming in from the Bristleback. Primal Roar to keep Italiano Gangster back. Nice Telekinesis as well. Stuns up two more heroes. But now Scourge McDuck feels empowered. He feels oh, emboldened. He's running forward. They get the kill onto the Rubik. Buys back on the Enchantress immediately as well. And they're looking for the lane of Rax, and they are going to get it. This is it. This is the game. They should be able, yeah, they're just going to go for the throne. Wow. Yeah. Cool, right? All right, the cut. Okay. We see you on the side of the cut. Uh, they're going to jump in one more time from b -God. He's inside the fountain. He dies. They haven't called GG just yet, so... They're going to play this one out till the very end. It's defense of the Ancients. The Ancients are still being defended. Even yeah, if they're going to fail in this defense. You don't have to call GG sometimes. You just lose. Your throne just falls. Yeah. Well, they're going to try to take this fight. There's a Spirit Vessel out onto the Witch Doctor. They really want to find this lack of heal. They've actually gotten a kill onto the Tiny. Italiano Gangster suffering some damage here. We see that they actually bring down the Witch Doctor as well with the Wild Axes. It was starting to look promising, but it came too little, too late. As GG finally does get called, the Ancient is down, the game is over. I think Scourge Madak is happy a little bit just to get some of these for this farm. He picks up another Rage Creep for himself. He's just chilling. Enjoying life, farming away. Top PA, of the CS Ferte. right now for this Bristleback. And Ferte down bottom. They want to try to jump onto B-Guard, and they should be able to get the kill. Impetus shots follows through onto the Tiny. And they're very happy about this one. More gold for the end. A little bit there, but we'll be allowed to live at the end of the day. As middle, they're going on to Sadman. Impetus shots will be there, but there is not enough mana for a swashbuckle, even when it does come back off cooldown for Falopka. So Sadman will not die here. Although he does need to be careful. Oh, She's he gets enchanted into the slow. They're going to try and dive, but one more Impetus shot might do the trick, and Go it on. definitely will. Got him. Avalanche Toss will look for revenge and find it onto door, but still. Not able to prevent the assassination attempt. b -God just has to watch on as Velopka and... Might actually not be. considering rolling back in here. Was thinking about it, but I think they made the call on the team. They're like, nah, just let this one go, mate. And uh, Notorious needs to be careful. b -God might catch him here with the Avalanche. And if that happens, there should be a dead Rubik. And the follow-up stun will be there from the Marana. Quick kill. Ghosts triggered out in this mid lane. We saw how long it took in game number one for this tower to drop in the mid lane and looks like we're going to have a repeat of that story as well as they have cleared out the creep wave. Ghosts already Automate. at half duration. This will not fall. Bottom lane though, they're going on to Gangster. Gangster gets the primal roll out onto Ferte to try and save his own life. 
but will not be able to keep himself alive as Dor finishes him off with the impetus. They will be able to come in with the Spirit Siphon goes. Ferte, great play to go into the river, but unfortunately, B God is already there. Magic One gets popped out. He's trying to make the turnaround play, but there's not enough damage and not enough HP to survive the Spirit Siphon combo. I really they managed to get the kill. Yeah. I, I thought that if Enchantress keeps on the high ground there, he can blink back in. But Ench moved back, a moved a little bit uh, too far. Not sure, mm. maybe they didn't communicate the 21 charges. Doom top. Oh, they're diving top. Yeah, they get the Doom out onto this Bristleback. They bring in the two supports to try and make sure that they have enough damage for this kill. Impetus shots flying in off the Scourge McDuck. There's going to be an arrow to try and buy space. And Jubei is looking for the deny, unable to find it. As Scourge McDuck will be able to get the kill. Valopka goes into the Rolling Thunder, wants to kill Jubei. Jubei, no more leap charges. And we'll end up dying to door. It's two heroes do fall. Okay, the, the pace is picking up. It was him. It was very weird. Just a mistake. They might actually be able to find this kill onto the Death Prophet. Toss back. Rubik unfortunately does not have level 6, so couldn't steal the Avalanche during this last fray. There will be an Avalanche now onto the Enchantress, followed up by the Arrow. And Pangolia, a big swashbuckle, but not enough damage to get the kill. Door will eventually die to the Telekinesis. In the meantime, Avalanche was stolen away by this Rubik. Can't reach the Morana, but his influence in that fight is definitely felt. They but the Dazzle PA with the Battle Fury. Okay. Uh, we'll see her and how effective she can be with this item when he does arrive. For now, she's trying to show effectiveness against this Black Bristleback. He's got some help coming in though. They popped the Exorcism. They wanted to reach Ferte. They instead will come across Door, slow him down with the Avalanche, and that'll get the kill. Big swashbuckle to get oh. this Pangolier out of trouble. They doom the Death Prophet. And they do not find the Doom onto the Bristleback. So DP, she'll be A-OK -okay here. I'm Eventually sure. Ghost will come back. I'm not sure what's up with the Z kill. Uh, like when Take I... tier 1 on top lane, that's all. Like usually I, I see teams giving more and more emphasis on taking down the offlaner's tower. That's like free gold, right? Yep. The enemy team very rarely goes to an all-in defender. They might need to mount a defense if they want to keep this Doom alive, but whew! The damage output a little bit too fast. Ferte goes in right now, but he goes into his death as he gets arrowed up. Can they keep him alive? They do. The four staff plays. And now he just jumps back in to get a quick kill. Nature's attendance not even necessary. He somehow just stays alive. Oh my goodness. Bit. I think that's a good play. You go in and take the ages. It's been scouted now, so they know what's happening. They do have the Pangolia, but Pangolia is the one that gets caught. Arrow to the face as well. Will they get off the Rolling Thunder? So far, they're buying space and time. The Swashbuckle comes out. Tiny falls so low, dies to the impetus. Death Prophet, though, goes in with the BKB and the Ghost, but she gets doomed up. In the meantime, Primal Roll stops Volodka from spinning anywhere else. They're trying to still run down these heroes because they have Exorcism going, and they'll be able to get Door out of this. Swashbuckle away for the Pango to keep himself alive. And the Roshan still at half HP. Yeah. The Doom, even if he's broken, we still only have physical damage output that really threatens him in this fight. So this AC will do quite a bit to keep him alive. Yeah. Ferte, he shows himself a bit so they know where the PA is. By the way, I, I still think Sadman, Doomed. He's gonna get Doomed up. They should try to force this fight. They're gonna get the damage out onto the DP and she should die to the impetus shot. But at the same gone. time, Ferte got roared and destroyed in the midst of this engagement. That's the real carry. Swashbuckle with the Pango roll coming in to try and create chaos, but Scourge McDuck is solo diving the rest of the squad. They will be able to find Doe and kill him. That's a dead Enchantress. No buyback on Ferte either. Short by a thousand gold at this point. He bought the shot just before that fight. I, I love that the teams are actually reading each other's movements really well. Look, this time mm. around, the cut might be... Never mind, they missed them. <laughs> they missed them so, so closely and... The scan as well doesn't connect. Uh, door? Door is dead. Door, Ooh, door is dead. Ooh. Damn. It's, it's who oh. you want to die, right? If you're yeah. tilted boys. Somebody must get brought down. It's gotta be him. But they're coming back into the jungle here. They're looking for this beast monster. But beast monster is gonna actually get jumped on first. Gets off the BKB though and because roar. B God is still playing like a god. The roar comes out as well. Stolen roar though from the Rubik goes back onto the beast monster. He ends up losing his life. Rolling thunder coming in as well as the Doom monster Scourge McDuck. They wanna try and control up this beast, this bristleback. And so far they're succeeding. But look at this. They're going in onto the PA. There's five split in two directions. They haven't brought down the bristleback just yet. He's falling lower and lower. But so is the Death Prophet. DP dies to the Fade Vault. In the meantime, 
Bristleback allowed to escape thanks to the Moonlight Shadow and being able to run away. But we'll leave compatriots in the dust right behind him as they bring down B God Tiny. Tilted boy, somehow, some way, without buyback even. This game though. Just a close affair all around. Less than a 1k net worth lead in favor of the cut. But they're actually gonna try to force it down bottom. They do have a cliff on Radiant side here. They're going Please. in onto the bristle back. My god, Scourge McDuck gets bursted. Almost to 100 and back. Notorious yet again has stolen Primal Roll. Throws it in onto Sadman. Able to get him stunned up. Wasting most of the BKB duration and they will find the kill with Ferte. B God did what he could. Found multiple hero avalanches. But it's not going to be enough as he loses his life as well. And the Tilted Boys. Showing why you were having hesitation about going onto the high ground. Jump in. Oh, Pango, the roll finds the Beastmaster. He gets stunned up again by his own primal roll. The Doom will be on top of him, but Ferte not able to burst them down just yet. Uh, the Death Prophet, in the meantime, she's standing her ground in the middle of the fight. Another fan of Nice comes out. There's the stun from Beacon holding these heroes into position. They really want to try to bring down Ferte, and they'll manage to do it with Scourge McDuck getting the last hit. In the meantime, Doom will be following him into the grave. Damn. They get the Doom out at the end of the fight. But it does not matter. What? They get more and more kills. The <laughs> cut. The hell? Wins four heroes. He doesn't have one. Bristol also does not have one. <gasps> Look at this Rubik, dude. Notorious has just been a god this game. Finds the initial lift onto the best target ever. There's no primal roar as it was about to be activated with the Blink Dagger. They're looking for this Beastmaster first and they aren't going to find him. He's still alive for now, but eventually he does die. In the meantime, they also jump onto Sadman. Who pops the BKB trying to run away with the Abyssal stun from the PA. They get on top of the DP. They kill her. They go onto this Bristleback as well. And B God, just as he was jumping in for the Avalanche, the Swashbuckle Bash hit him, Lizard. He can't keep the fight going. Oh no. Jube? Tilted. But no, it takes a little bit of time, but eventually it does get taken down. Doom. We'll refresh using the shards here. BKB pop by Fate. Trying to go in. Fate, will it be able to at the very least get the Beastmaster? Beastmaster still living through this fight. There's gonna be now the shard coming she out from dead. the PA. Is looking for the Bristol back, but the PA, she will lose her life. The ghost doing way too much damage in the midst of this fight. Ezekiel will kill her off with the Doom and the Velotka's help, but it's not gonna be good enough. There's gonna be a huge avalanche stolen by the Zubik. Notorious doing his best to try and save this fight, but his best is not good enough. The As roar? the cut bring down four heroes and they prime the final roll onto Balotka. This Pangolier is about to die. He doesn't have buyback. Wait, 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 wait. Triple Why are they tipping from the tilted boys? Why are they tipping on the outpost? What uh, do they want to do? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they. I'm pretty sure when we look at the stats later, Notorious will have done way more damage than the Doom did this game. Mm. Score shirts can be deceiving. Let's see. They're going in. Scourge. They have a fight here. Who do they jump in on? They're gonna find. Oh no, they can't find the Doom. Primal Roar comes out first. They try to save him and they finally get the Bristle Doom out onto the Bristle back. <laughs> Bristle has just gone down for the count. Then during this BKB, Fete is trying to clean up the middle of the team fight. They brought back on the Bristle back. And now Fete jumping onto Morana. A couple hits later, there's no Morana anymore. Sad she's man. gone from the fight. He's still Sad in. Man. With Ghost going, there's going to be a blink in from this Death Prophet. She gets broken though. This is some bravery coming in from her. They come back with this Primal Beast, or Primal Roar rather, from the Beastmaster. It gets stolen again. PA, can she survive the fight? She's trying to get she away, but she dies, but she can't buy back. Doom right now, trying to run himself away. Ezekiel alive for a few moments longer. And they cannot bring him down. Or they go Moonlight Shadow. They're actually going to force this. Exorcism. But Doom Illusion sees this, so they know what's happening. There's a big, massive creep wave inside the base that they also need to be cognizant of, but they're going in for the fight. Rolling Thunder committed. It stuns up the Death Prophet. Sad man. Is he going to die? The Lotus Orb trying to keep him alive, but it's not going to be enough. He is just gone. Forced to buy back. Primal Roll stolen again by the Rubik. They go onto this Bristleback. Will they be able to kill him? No. The real Primal Roll buying space and time, but the swashbuckles from this pan really making this fight so difficult. Skurs McDuck survived for so long, but eventually Jeez, will die. Well. <laughs> There's no PA either, though, as she dies. There's way too many cool sprays that came back. Doom from Ezekiel onto the Death Prophet, and the DP will eventually die. They get Beacon, lifting him back. They're throwing in damage from this Enchantress. Rolling Thunder is back online again. He's actually getting away from Beacon like a boss. Mirana might not be so lucky, though, as Jube out of leap charges, but somehow Their both these supports are going to be allowed you know, to that's live. The problem. And yeah, they need to come back for the tier fours. Big waves inside the place. Tiny kills Pango. Somebody needs to deal with this. And Tiny solo kills the Pangolier. And that was the best hero to defend against the creeps. He's going to have to buy back.
Uh, surely not. Surely you just go back with the Doom and you defend. He has a TP. Doom? But if you go back... Ezekiel? Ezekiel goes into the pit for some reason instead, okay? I guess Ench can def somewhat. Like she's gonna die, dude. She's gonna die. Look at her smoke. She's dead. She's, she's dead. She's dead. Avalanche tosses onto her with the primal roll. She's gone. She has to buy back. Pango buys back now. But it's only gonna be able to pick up a tiny off the back of this. Doom on the outskirts of the fight, looking for the priority target. Not gonna be able to find anybody. But they bring down B-Guard. This feels not great for the Tilted Boys. What what just happened, Lizard? I where don't where know, was the team coordination? I, I, I just hear the circus song like Tilted Boys are tilted and done with this game. They're rushing towards them. They're going Rubik. in. Oh, they find the Rubik first. Notorious. Not gonna die just yet. Get saved by this Pangolier. There's gonna be the Primal Roar that comes up, and there's the AoE Doom. They're looking towards this Death Prophet. She will not be able to cast any spells here. And the secondary Primal Roar does not help either. Now they're going on to these heroes. They catch huge stuns. Bristleback needs to get the hell up out of here. Not gonna be allowed to do so because the Swashbuckle Bash will be there. They stun him up. They kill him off. And the Cut lose two of their big cores, neither of whom have... Okay, no. Bristleback has buyback. Find an initial stun with the Rolling Thunder, but there's the AoE Doom. They're going on to this Bristleback. They also cut B Guard as well. The four staff will be there. They're trying to make sure that this Bristleback survives this fight. They're dooming and they're Bristlebacking up. They're going in with his damage. Can they get PA? the kill onto the PA? PA falling low. She doesn't have an Aegis to her name, so she will die. Down and out, she buys back into the fray. Ezekiel forced to go into the refresh. BKB is yet again. There's no Doom out onto she any of these back. priority targets anymore. And the PA, she's back in the fight, but she's back just in time to watch everybody else retreat as they don't really want the smoke anymore. Her BKB has been refreshed, so she could try to go back for the spray. Doom buyback but as it's well. it's a dangerous thing to do. She jumps in onto the Marana. Marana's just going to be dead. And they're going onto this Bristleback. Bristleback yules up into the air. Doom back into the fight, but he doesn't have the Doom spell anymore. They're going in a Bristle Blade stun onto Scourge McDuck. Scourge McDuck, he's, he's trying to the Enchantress and the Pango. He will buy back though. They now turn their attention towards b -God. This Tiny tanking so many hits from the PA. PA jumps in, finishes him off. He buybacks as well. Dieback might be happening onto the Death Prophet. No, she has buyback. Marana does not, though. That's going to be a double kill for Ferte. Primal Roar going in onto Door. They stunned up the Enchantress, but the Swashbuckle buys space and time. Can Door get himself out of here? Has the Hex, has the usage in. of this Hurricane Pike. They're going in maybe onto Scourge McDuck. Ezekiel will have Doom in a second. It's back online, but they might not need it. He goes in for the AoE Doom. The Wind Waker won't save the Bristleback as he dies back this time around. Swashbuckle plays and the Rolling Thunder standing up with B-God as well as this Death Prophet in the middle of the Infainment. Fat Day now finding B-God. B-God is dead. Breed. Everybody is gone. <laughs> Bristleback is not is gone. Over. The dream lives on. Man is going oh for the God. throne. <laughs> okay, Beastmaster, sh there's no way he can make this nah, happen. the game's over. It's, yeah. Game's done. He's gone. GG is called. <laughs> well, we went the long way around, but we arrived <laughs> to the same destination that I kind of <gasps> expected 40 minutes ago. Oh, oh what gosh. a crazy ass game, man. Oh my god. Bottom, we see some of the harassers going in onto the morph. Get the glimpse back on the Death Prophet to buy space for Ferte. Yep. About to crack level 2, so should have the safety point. Actually, goes for the Adapter Strike instead of going for the Waveform, so... Backs himself and his lane prowess to not die here, but... Like, literally, I'm, I'm looking at this <sighs> the whole time, and I'm thinking, yeah, you're morphing into a Skyrat. You, you won't believe it. Morphling, top seems to be more or less favoring this Wraith King. They've gotten a lot of farm here for him versus how Ezekiel's just been poking and prodding here and there. And Ezekiel mm -hmm. might die here. Has a nah. Mango to get off the press the attack. He's fine. And uh, Mango? Mango? Okay, doesn't even nah, need he's it. He's fine, he's fine. So for me, it's more about this bottom lane. Like they are killing the Skyrat at the moment. Uh, they rotated Notorious in as well. And Brood needs to be careful. There's still three around, but... Uh, I'm interested in what happens once Brood gets level 6. Because then you'll have to tentatively rotate the Legion bottom. Legion who's getting really damn low. Yeah, top lane though, they're gonna go for this Legion commander and she's gonna end up dying. The question is, do they get any kind of counter play here? Scourge McDuck does have reincarnation and very too tanky. Sad about that, but uh, that's the way it is versus Disruptor. They, and they knew it, they picked the Brood into it, so... Then again, I, I feel like if you're the cut, yeah, top lane, 
with the silence. I think they might die. Oh no, he wave from forward. But how much strength does he have right now? Not enough? Yeah. This is the power of Skyrat versus Morphling. You get silenced, you're dead. That's why he's building the Mantis style immediately. Recognizes the danger that he's in. Feels bad, man. And th doesn't it always feel like as Wolfling, you only ever die like that when you make the one waveform that would get you killed? Sadman. Another uh, I think Sadman will die. A another duel as well. And Valotka. Uh, the haste got denied, though. Yeah, the haste yeah. did get denied. Here comes the Courage least. McDuck. Uh, they want Notorious, but Notorious will. But they got, maybe while they were trying to do it, they, the bro died because of the glimpse, and then the DP died as well because of the glimpse mid. But these kind of things slow you down, and you're playing a team, a, a draft that's supposed to have tempo. Oh, speaking of tempo, they're going to the Morphling right now after he went forward to bring down this nature, this Treant Protector. And the Treant will die, they do get off the strength more. Fab, they kept alive by this Presti attack. Allowed him to survive through the damage of the Skyrath Maze. There's a duel coming forward onto Scourge McDuck. He will die. And here comes Sadman. Exorcism Ghosts are going with the Spirit Siphon onto Rubik. Rubik is down and out. Valopka silenced up, but the silence will eventually elapse. Won't be able to get away from the second one, though. Oh, no, he ever spurred. But here comes Ferte. They bring in the Water Boy. They want to try and find some kills. The first big right click goes in, but Ferte, he's too far forward in the fight here. He's trying to strength morph in, but they have a lot of damage with this Desolator and the Omelette. Ferte falling low. Doesn't have any more mana. They need a way to get him out of this fight. Italiano Gangster right on top of him, and there was the Presti attack, but it's not good enough this time around to Sky find the salvation. There's Skyrath Mage with the Rod of Atos combo to bring down this Legion Commander, big crits from Scourge McDuck, gets the kill onto Disruptor as well. And now they find the quick grab onto the Ember Spirit. Valopka dead. Mm -hmm. The entire team fight lost than the cut. With a 10k gold lead after taking the hit faster and harder with her army. Yep. Makes them do less damage because you're not really scared of the magic output because Brood has a pipe as well. You got. And I gave a bounce in and out here from the Ember Spirit, but now he's actually set the trap. Ember Spirit has a DP right on top of him. I think Ember's actually gone here. He's gone. One more right click Rage should King? be able to bring him down. Scourge McDuck now finding this Rubik. Gonna get glimpsed back for his troubles, but he, the setup is still there to ensure that they bring down this Rubik. You oh. see, Lizard, if he had BKB, he would have had the kill on the Rubik <laughs> and gotten extra gold. Yeah, that, that's definitely correct. Your what can they find done. here? Yeah. The first tier 3 tower is gone already. They have the cliff if they want to pop it, but they don't pop it in time. There's the first life taken away from the Raid King. Will he get dueled on the second life? He does come in. There's going to be the duel with the Blade Mail as well. Raid King should certainly die here. Not going to give away damage, but might... Oh, actually, might not even die overall. Does eventually lose his life. Fente kept alive somehow on the small fling. Press the attack from Ezekiel just coming in clutch. Ezekiel will eventually fall for this. Sad man. But they could still fight around it. Sad man is in danger because there's a glimpse online. He did it as well. Press the attack. will be there. Let's see how they want to pursue this fight. Slide of fist coming in from Valopka. And the living armor stolen by the Rubik. They're not going to keep this tier 3 tower alive for long. They have no. to go in. Ezekiel goes in. There's going to be a static storm. 1 to 2 as well. They should be able to find at least one of them. They brought down the first life of Raid King. They took down the true life of the Broodmother. Now they really want to hit for more. They do lose the Legion Commander though. Bursted away by this Mystic Flare. However, without this Broodmother being alive, this sustained engine might start to run out. Should be able to take the first life. The cut will definitely try to bail him out of the second. He doesn't have access to the BKB, so he's in a bit of a dangerous position. Morphling, TPing onto the tower. He doesn't have BKB, and he doesn't might not have that much HP either. There's a static storm that gets dropped down onto this Raid King, but where's the right clicks from Ferte? Ferte finally goes in, and they finally get this kill. Do oh, yet again another glimpse onto Sadman. He's forced to pop the BKB, but I'm not sure that's going to protect him. The Aegis expires in the midst of the fray. Does the Morphling... Not going to find any targets just yet. In the meantime, they are going on to this Raid King. Scourge McDuck is falling low. These illusions still pack a punch as well. Ezekiel went in with the BKB. Static Storm will connect onto multiple heroes. Who do they want here? There's two lives on both of these heroes. Neither of them are great targets. They will end up dueling the Raid King. There's going to be the Static Storm into the Mystic Flare, though. They catch onto the Ember Spray. Does pop BKB, though, right after they brought down this Nature's Pro, this Shield Protector. Shield Protector buys back. Who doesn't have buyback. They buy back on the Ezekiel. Ezekiel, Legion Commander, and now they're going on to this DP. DP has popped the second BKB after the Refresher Shot, but she will still end up dead. 
does not have exorcism goes. They bring down this Wraith King. They come in with the Mystic Flare on the ground, but now that Ezekiel is present, they can pop in all of these young Presti attacks, give the HP regen, let Ferte deal mm -hmm. out the damage. And that's a oh. buyback coming off cooldown right now. The only buyback that's still going to be out of play is the LC one for at least another two minutes, but... Let's see if they can find a catch here. DP. Oh no, Sadman's the one that's shown. They will get two heroes inside of the steering chains. Will they find the duel? Ezekiel hasn't found the duel just yet because it got blocked by the Lincoln Sphere. They still will be able to find the Death Drop and killing gone. a roll. They get Sadman gone. They glimpse back the Street Protector. They lose the LC. They almost lose Farte. And Farte's gonna that? die. Scourge McDuck just dies way too much damage. There will be a buyback on the Morphling. He has bots too, so he's back into the fight. They want to try and bring down Scourge McDuck. The right click damage goes first onto the Skyrath Mage. Will they be able to get that kill? Refresh from Scourge McDuck. Going onto the Morphling. Morphling stalled up. Silenced up. They haven't been able to bring him down for the second time just yet, but they are trying. He will wave from away, but space and time being bought by this young Ember Spirit who's doing the Lord's work for his team here. They do lose door. And Ember might be forced to join him in the grave as well. Doesn't have any more remnants, doesn't have any more HP, and okay. crucially, does not have a buyback because he utilized it for this fight. The You're cut. They, yeah. did, they might have done it. And this duel, will they be able to find the kill onto the Raid King? They find the first life. What about the subsequent ones? They have lost Mega Creeps. This Ember Spirit will try to make sure that they can at least kill this Raid King, and they will succeed in doing so. His life is gone. The game ain't over just yet, though. Uh, no big glimpse plays. Ember Spirit going on a long expedition. Should be able to find the Skyrath Mage here. You're getting him with a slight change, rooted in position. Shouldn't die from the combo because he does have the BKB. Will utilize it. Will they get the kill? Yes, they will. And uh, Skyrath had the Aegis? All right, cool. Uh, he's going to get dueled right now. I love how he oh, just realized. <laughs> <laughs> I literally only just realized. I was like, wait. Yeah. I, I, think, I don't think my brain believed me. When it's so like, oh, Skyrath made it, I'm like, oh, of course that's not true. I don't yeah. care that much. We see Lightning going on to two, Ezekiel jumps the onto the spider. They really want to try and find this kill, and they take away the first life. The duel will succeed, and here is the Morphling beating down on this Death Prophet. DP forced into an awkward position. They come back on Italiano Gangster, but look how strong this Morphling is. Verte, though, forced off away from this Mystic Flare. They stun him up right now. He will go into the Manta style. Still dishing out the right click damage. They want to try to bring down the life of Ferte. And that's the final life. Ray King is actually going to die from this. Ferte, though, falling lower and lower. He's at half HP. Doesn't have Satanic anymore. The ghosts come in for yet another round from the Death Prophet. Ezekiel, he can't stop this Death Prophet. They're looking for the jugular here. They're not going to find it, but the Mystic Flare will kill buy the Morphling. Back. He's forced to buy back. Ember Spirit dies as well. Buys back. Goes back into the fray. They will find the kill onto the Broodmother. And even though they're going to lose the fight, it doesn't matter because they win the game. The cut force out the GG at the very end, 66 minutes in. The Wraith King Aghanim set the baby, cheesy as it might be, it gets...